Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tan Men's Lucchese Franklin Hornback Cayman Tail in a 7 toe. Okay, so with the holidays coming up, I know a lot of you people are going to be giving gifts and receiving gifts. So I wanted to do a boot this time that was really cool. I was looking around and I landed on this Lucchese and I just fell in love with it. Now I saw this on bootbarn.com, that's where I purchased it from, but it's available on several other websites. But it's a handmade boot made right here in Texas. It's a hornback Cayman tail. It only came in at $645. I know that's still a lot of money, but I think that's a pretty good price for a made in the USA handmade exotic boot. Now I love Cayman. I think it's a really cool look and I don't own any currently, but also the color on this thing is just gonna blow you away. So what do you say we take a look at them? Okay, so, man, these things look awesome. Now it's Cayman, so you're not really gonna get the intoxicating leather smell. It kinda has a different smell altogether. Um, the tops are made out of Jersey calf, but even with that, it's not much of a leather smell, it's, it's just different. I don't know how to describe it. But check out the color on these things. Can you see that? They call this tan, and I love this because I like how all the dark spots, the like low lights in it, and you get that from Cayman a lot of times where it darkens up in the creases and in different places on the boot. And I think it just looks awesome in this lighter color. Now on bootbarn.com, as well as several other online retailers that I found, they list this as a snip toe, but it's not, it's a seven toe. A lot of companies call it a box toe, but according to Lucchese, this is what they refer to as a seven toe. And it's wider than a true snip, which for me, I like better. I love the looks of snip toes, but if you've seen any of my videos before, I may have mentioned that my feet are a little wonky looking, and snip toes and real pointed toes just don't look good on me. So I like the little wider toe on this seven toe. It's got a one and five eighths inch cowboy heel on it. Like I said, it's jersey calf shaft. This is a 13 inch shaft, which is my favorite. I prefer them just a little bit taller. The stitching looks really good. It's brown, gold, and then a light color, maybe white. It's hard to tell on the shaft. If you can see that, it's done really well. I mean, it looks perfect. Now this is a full single stitch welt. There's no wood pegs or brass nails. And the other Lucchese that I reviewed, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it right here, was a Dallas Cowboys edition Lucchese, similar style to this, and it was the same. It had the single stitch welt all the way around. I'm not sure if all the cases come that way because I've never owned any, but the two that I reviewed, this is the way they were. It's got a rubber heel cap there that's glued on. It's got a stack leather heel. So if you can see this, the vamp is two pieces on each side. You see there? And the counter, same way. It looks like it's one piece, but then it's got this extra piece sewn on the back there. Top of the vamp has scoots on it, which are the little fins. Now this is the N115173 model. It says right there, made in the USA. So it's got leather lining, but honestly it's not all that smooth. I mean, it's not like a rough out or a suede, but it's just not as luxurious feeling as some of the boots you find these days. It's got the exposed inner seams, but they are done well. They're really tied up against the shaft and it's fully leather lined all the way through the foot. Now the insole, they mark it as a cushioned insole, but it's non-removable. It's leather, it's sewn in. It's got some cushion to it. It feels like a high density foam. It's not squishy, but there's some give there and it bounces back really well. The one thing that does concern me though, is I keep feeling something rough in there and I don't, I don't think that's gonna come through. can't tell if you can see that, but up here towards the ball of the foot, it looks like there's some glue or something on this insole. It's kind of gritty and rough feeling and almost a little tacky. And I just don't know what that is. It almost, I don't know. 
I don't know if this is like a Lucchese thing. You guys let me know down in the comments, but it looks weird to me and it feels weird. It's like I said, it's kind of sticky and kind of gritty. Let me look at this one. Yeah, this one's got the same thing. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm hoping it doesn't affect the comfort when I'm wearing it. Hopefully my socks will make it a moot point, but it does look weird. Almost looks like something was stuck on there and then peeled off. But anyways, guys, what do you say we try them on? Okay, there's a little bird's eye shot for you. I think they look really good. All right, guys, these things went on like butter and they are super comfortable. I mean, they fit me like a glove. I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting them to fit me this well and I certainly wasn't expecting them to be this comfortable. And they look great. I mean, that color is just awesome. And I love the seven toe on these. I don't know. I mean, in person, I think they look better than they did in the pictures. I am, I'm just so surprised guys. This is just an awesome boot made in Texas. And for 645 bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal. Golly, these look good. <laughs> wow. I love them. Man, they're so comfortable. That glue stuff on the insole is not an issue at all. I can't feel it in the least. With my socks on, it is... It's definitely a non-issue. So I don't know what that stuff is, but I'm fine with it being there at this point. Anyways, let's go back up top. Okay, so final thoughts. Man, I really like these. These surprised me. Now, my dad, when I was growing up, he always wore Lucases and I always thought they were super cool and they were really expensive, but I've never owned a pair myself. But honestly, I was a little skeptical. I've heard mixed things about Lucases. You know, I know the classics line is super primo, super expensive and real top of the line boot. But all the others I've kind of heard mixed things about. But I gotta tell you, I love this one. I love the color of it. It's just awesome. I love the style, I love the toe, I love the heel. And the comfort just blew me away. I was really surprised. I mean, these things fit perfectly. And the cushion insole, you know, you can feel just a little bit of give. It's nothing crazy, but it feels really nice on your foot. That glue stuff that's in there didn't bother me a bit, so I'm not even gonna knock off for that. This is just an outstanding boot that looks great and feels great, and it definitely gets the Lone Star stamp of approval. So if you own some Lucases, drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your experience has been. I'm sure everybody else would too. Whether you love them or not, people are gonna be doing holiday shopping and I'm sure they'd like to hear other opinions than just mine. So as always, I'll put a link to these down in the description if you wanna check them out. So that's all I got for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Please check out my Patreon link down below. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.